Hello, this is John Miller, owner of Pitchers Power Drive and trainer at Winning Pitchers Baseball Academy in Massachusetts. Um, today we're going to be looking at Daniel Bard's lower body mechanics. We shot this during pitchers and catchers uh, at spring training when Daniel Bard's just starting out the year. But uh, as you'll see, his uh, lower body mechanics already look great for that early in the year. Um, the Power Drive is helping him do this, creating efficient hip lead and drive angle down the mound. So we'll jump right into it. Uh, Bard gets a great knee lift, good athletic position. From here, he's going to get his momentum going forward. He's going to do it by leading with his hips. His hips are going to push out first, and the power drive is going to click down. As you see, when the power drive clicks down, his weight stays back. His shoulder is over the rubber. This is very important, and his hips are going to lead out front and he's getting a correct drive angle off his back leg and he's going to push out front so i love the red sox training complex in this as well as the green monster that you can kind of see through so you can see the separation of his hips his front hip and his front shoulder and it as you can tell it's over 15 degrees that's what we look for with every pitcher depending on their body type back shoulders over the rubber so he's driving forward with the momentum and staying back which is a hard thing to do and when he does it on the power drive he gets kinetic and auditory feedback that he's doing it right and the power drive is going to stay down as he gets to his very important push angle the push angle is when his leg drives out you'll see it extend he gets a late push drive with his lower half out to landing where his belt buckle will be closed. This is very important. A lot of pitchers' belt buckles and hips will open up early into early rotation. The power drive helps you stay closed longer and drive through, creating good direction. The belt buckle faces third base. Very important for any right-handed pitcher. A left-handed pitcher would face first base. Um, there's a pinch in that back hip, like a rubber band. We say un uncoil the rubber band, and that's going to bring your upper body and your arm out front and you'll see Daniel Bard do this in the next frame throwing on a bent front leg as he throws the leg is going to stiffen up and he'll stand on it which creates better extension over the front knee and torque in the lower half so that's a quick uh, breakdown of Daniel Bard's correct lower body mechanics um, we'll also run it in full speed for you here so you can see what that looks like as well um, if you have any questions feel free to contact us at any time We'd love to talk baseball and love to help pitchers take their game to the next level. Good. The ones where I click it right, it's freaking on the money.